1996, I created my first website on GeoCities. I was in high school and a big fan of the band Radiohead. Uh, so I decided to make my first site a fan site uh, for the band. Um, while creating this, I learned a lot about HTML, um, and who knew at that time I'd eventually make a career of this. Um, fast forward 2018, and you'll notice that not much has changed when you look at the HTML that I wrote in 1996 and what you write in emails. <laughs> <laughs> well, writing the markup back then was fine, as the web was still very new. Um, today we have better ways of doing things. So when developers are asked to create an archaic HTML email template, uh, we often feel like we're being, in, being punished in some way. Uh, like, what did I do to deserve this, and who did I wrong? <laughs> uh, fortunately, there are some new options to consider, and that's what I'm here to cover in this uh, lightning talk, uh, the easy and sane way to create responsive HTML emails. A little, about, uh, a little bit about me. Um, my name is Michael Terry, and I work at a company called uh, Penske Media Corporation, or PMC for short. Um, we have some pretty cool brands like Variety, uh, IndieWire, Deadline, Rolling Stone, and Women's Wear Daily, uh, which is short, uh, we call WWD. Um, I'm the lead engineer for our subscriptions team. Um, I live just outside of New York City in beautiful New Jersey with my wife, Stephanie, four-year-old daughter, Emily, and our vicious cat, Lusa, which is short for Lucifer. Uh, <laughs> most of the music I listen to is uh, about 20 years old. Uh, I like to work on my yard and garden, and I drink a lot of craft beer and recently start making hot sauce. Uh, so what does this talk have to do with WordPress? Absolutely nothing. Um, though this is a WordPress talk, uh, although uh, we are at WordCamp for publishers, so um, responsive HTML newsletter is probably relevant to your job. Uh, and or company. For anyone that has ever uh, crafted an HTML email newsletter uh, template, in short, it's pretty horrible. Uh, like I said, it reminds me a lot of the coding I did in 1996. Um, like using tables for layouts and nesting those tables within tables within tables. Uh, tags like font and center, pretty common. Uh, <laughs> With the emails, you have to write inline CSS to make sure you're styling the actual thing you want styled. Um, nothing modern is ever fully supported. And um, yeah, the code you write looks uh, pretty like unreadable garbage. Um, at PMC, we decided to overhaul the Women's Wear Daily email publication uh, called the Digital Daily. Uh, the mock that was presented to our team had a single hero followed by three rows uh, with two articles side by side on mobile. All the articles were stacked. Uh, for this, I wanted something that was easy to build uh, and maintain and did a bit of research to find a framework for building this email template uh, as well as others in the future. And yeah, this is a high fashion site and I don't understand what that picture is, so. Why are you not going? <laughs> All right, well, that one, let me turn it off and turn it on again. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Sorry. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> After scaring the internet uh, and lots of testing, we landed on foundations for email, uh, which some of you might know is formerly called Inc. Um, really had some uh, awesome features, um, including uh, instead uh, you could write your CSS as SAS. Um, it's, pretty, it, it's pretty compatible with most uh, email clients. Um, a grid system to make the layout responsive, uh, breaking markup components into partials for, uh, for reusability. Uh, very important feature was not stripping out AMP script, um, which is a scripting language of exact target or the, uh, this is the service we use for, uh, to actually send our emails, and even using uh, handlebars, uh, which is HTML templating language you can extend with a little JavaScript. Uh, lastly, it's open source with the MIT license. Uh, here's a sh uh, super simple example. Um, it's a preloaded video. Um, the code here is what you will write and maintain. Uh, next, uh, you would run npm run build uh, for production or npm start for development. 
Uh, foundation for emails was, has a node component for building its assets. After uh, completion, a uh, browser will open uh, and navigate you to your email. Um, and back in the editor, uh, the uh, distro directory has a transpiled markup uh, that you can use in your email. Um, this file is what's generated from the HTML email syntax that's in your SAS file. Um, the digital daily uh, is made up of four different lists of customers, all with subtle differences. Uh, one thing I wanted to do with this project uh, was make sure uh, to make as many reusable elements uh, that could be shared. Um, part of this was breaking it up into partials, uh, which is just pieces of HTML markup uh, that can be reused in many places. Um, is that playing? Yep. With that, the actual difference between the lists were just settings. Uh, some were Booleans, like whether to present a unsubscribe link or not. Um, others were just simple text, uh, like an email for accepting feedback. Um, with these settings, uh, we could easily leverage handlebars within the markup and handle these subtle differences uh, when building the email templates. As I mentioned before, uh, one of the things that foundations for email needed to support was not stripping out the AMP script. Um, in our case, it is used to parse an RSS feed to populate the articles dynamically uh, for our send. This is done in exact target on the send. Uh, for testing, though, I created uh, this mock feature in handlebars, um, which was something I just extended handlebars with, um, to swap out the AMP script code with test data. Uh, this has allowed me to easily um, test the layout that I was creating. And it's just a simple uh, switch statement that just sees pieces of the app script and just uses some uh, default um, setting. Um, this is the final product, uh, what it looks like, uh, with desktop on the left and mobile on the right. Um, this code was tested on Litmus and rendered great, or at least satisfactory, for 19 email clients. Uh, since using foundation for email, updating the code is a breeze. Uh, prior to this, I would have to make the same change to four different very ugly templates uh, that we were using uh, before this, and now this change is in one place, and I just let Foundations for Email uh, work its magic. Um, since this is a short talk, I can't cover nearly everything. Um, some other features of Foundations for Email um, is submitting to Litmus um, testing by just running npm run Litmus. Um, you could also do some test sends with npm run mail, uh, and you could zip up all your assets with npm run, zi uh, um, run zip. Uh, for the litmus and the test sending, uh, you need to create a conf uh, configure file uh, called uh, config.json file. Um, you just, that's all very well documented in, in the project's readme file. Um, one last thing I wanted to bring up was that uh, there is a plugin that um, our PMC director, art director, has been messing around with um, that uh, will export um, a, uh, something designed in Sketch and, uh, and be able to import into um, uh, Foundation for Email. Or, um, it's pretty new. We haven't really, he just gave me a demo of it uh, before I gave this talk. But essentially what it does is he can take um, a piece of the layout, export that, um, and then import it uh, into um, Foundation for e Email, or use it right in Foundation for Email um, as, a, as a partial. Uh, okay. Um, here are a couple of relevant links. Uh, first is Foundation for Email's project. Um, there you'll find instructions for getting started, and the documentation is pretty good. Uh, the second link is a half hour video just showing you start to finish how to create uh, an email. Um, the last one is. Uh, just the uh, repo for Brian Cooperman's uh, Sketch the Foundation plugin. Again, my name is Mike Otteri. If you're interested in following or contacting me, my e website is mikeotteri.com. You can also find me at Twitter at mwatteri or mwatteri79 at, on Instagram. If you like craft beer, I'm on Untapped as mwatteri. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. All right. Give it up.